a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Twin Flame Union update. Um, but today's video was focused on the union you have with yourself. And it could be for a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, whatever you relate as. Um, that's experiencing change or a tower moment. A, some, a level of uncertainty. Maybe you're feeling lost or... Um, you just in the unknown. I can relate to this. I'm a part of the collective on the twin flame journey. My focus primarily is on the journey that I have with myself because I know that the first union is unification of my own energies and I cannot be focused on someone else and bringing someone else into my life until I am at a place where I am secure and understanding and balanced within myself. If you are truly indeed on a twin flame journey, your focus should also be being balanced with yourself. Um, especially if you're trying to reach new levels and new heights and you have goals and personal goals that you would like to reach. The first unification is union with yourself. So if you're experiencing a tower moment, if you're experiencing uncertainty or if you're feeling lost or you just want some spiritual guidance, maybe this will help you too. So the first, so the overall energy of the reading we have is growth. I'm sorry, we have the world, but we have growth first. I pulled the oracle cards first and clarify with tarot. We have growth and the world. Right underneath that is the nine of swords and perseverance, which is very telling. You know, <laughs> this, this, you have to persevere through the anxiety, through the feeling of, of uncertainty, through... However you're feeling right now, you have to work through it. Sometimes you have to work being afraid. You have to work through the fear. You have to work being uncertain. You just have to keep going regardless of whatever emotional um, turmoil you may be going through or, or you know, cloudiness in your mind. You have to persevere and work through it because this is about growth. This is about union. This is about um, manifestations and, and the world being in your hands. This is about... Um, personal commitment and following your heart and following through. It's about honoring and facing growth with courage. It's about abundance and ability to stand tall regardless of what's going on, regardless of how you're feeling. And um, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> it's about um, following your heart and, and what you know is true. Following your intuition and your heart and what you know is true. The world implies being one with self and being blessed because of it. So, yeah, so if you've started this journey, you know that it's about coming together. It's about being your higher self and being one with your higher self, being God on earth and knowing what that feels like to be one with yourself and God. So the first combination we have is the mysticism and three of cups. Mysticism, three of cups. Honestly, I don't even know why we show these cards because, you know, some people look at it like, what does that mean? Um, but, you know, it's part of the culture. We show the cards. So mysticism this is about trusting in the unknown. It's saying you already sense the answers or you already have it. You may be feeling lost, but you already sense and know the answers within you. You just have to seek them. Or maybe you need to meditate or whatever and go within. But it's saying... Trust in the unknown, trust in your intuitive powers to guide you. Um, you may not be able to ask others what they see, for you alone can see into the heart of the matter, which means it's not someone else's journey, it's your journey. So if I talk to someone else about, especially someone who doesn't understand it, now, if I talk to somebody who's been on it or is, you know, is awakened, I could probably get some good advice. But still, it's still your journey. It's still your vision. It's still your intuition. So someone else may not fully understand what you're going through, so you can't seek advice from them. This is something that you have to do on your own. You have to go within and follow your intuition. For you alone can see into the heart of the matter. Um, but with the couple with the Three of Cups, it could just say, Maybe you just need to relax, celebrate with your family and friends, spend time with your family and friends, um, and forget your worries, knowing that it's all working for your good. So sitting back and being lost or feeling lost or being distraught about it 
isn't going to help the situation. Sometimes you have to release it and let it go, knowing that everything is happening for your good, but when it's time to act, of course you act. Then the next pair we have is self-worth with the king of wands and the two of swords. This couple is about people, places, things, objects, events beyond what you can see. Look, you see how she's blind? You know, she can't see. The moon is there. Um, people, places, and things, events are being drawn to you. But you may not see it because, again, when you're operating in the unknown, especially with the, the journey of balancing yourself in a spiritual journey, you may not see everything. But people are being drawn to you. The life that you desire is being drawn to you. You have to aim high, though. It's about aiming higher and following through. But it just says that for you will draw even greater experiences in your life when you aim higher. Allow your energy to grow. Receiving is an action. And the King of Wands just indicates that you're fully capable of receiving everything that you desire. Sometimes we feel lost because, you know, we just don't, we can't see the vision anymore. Or we don't see the vision coming together. Or we don't see our goals manifesting and it could just you know maybe sometimes sight is the direct opposite of what your insight is showing and telling you and when you see what it what others can't see or you can see what's you know again you can see what others can't see or you can see in the dark sometimes when you turn on the lights it's the complete opposite what you see in the dark but with this couple, with this self-worth card, with the King of Wands, it's saying you're fully capable of manifesting in sight what you see in the dark. And it's coming to you, even though you can't see it. Even though you can't see it when it's, you know, it's this isn't dark outside when she got those blinds. It's dark on her eyes, but out, it's, that doesn't look dark at all to me on that card. She can't see it, but it's coming. You can't see it, but it's coming. You just have to continue to have faith and know that you're fully capable of manifesting the life that you desire and the things that you see in the dark that you don't see in sight. That would make sense to whoever I'm talking to and I'm talking to myself too. That would make sense to you. You're fully capable of whatever it is you see in the dark. You're fully capable and your life is it's going to manifest in light. But have faith. Have trust. Have faith release and don't worry about it then we have the impartiality card coupled with the ten of cups impartiality is just reminding us this card reminds me of the justice card in the tarot deck you see how she's balanced um, but she has it's a, a level of abundance attached to it too it's like cause and effect but it's like um it's cause to see things from, look at your situation in a, from an impartial standpoint. What would you tell others to do in your situation um, that, you know, you know the full details of it. It's your situation. But if you look at it from an impartial standpoint, what would you tell yourself? If you step out of your masculine energy and step in your feminine side of yourself and you look down at your masculine self and you say what would you do in this situation what would you tell that person what would you tell your per what would you impartially tell yourself to do you will tell yourself whatever it is that's leading to this fulfillment completion happiness um abundance look at that rainbow you will lead them to the rainbow you will lead yourself to the rainbow you will lead yourself to fulfillment and completeness Knowing that all will be well, knowing that wealth, stability, and happiness, and emotional fulfillment is right there, you will lead yourself to that. So look at yourself, look at it from an impartial standpoint, knowing the end, this is the end. How would you lead yourself to that rainbow? What would you tell yourself? What, what would you tell yourself to lead yourself to that rainbow? I always repeat stuff, I'm sorry. Then you have the gossip card and the high priestess couple. I love this gossip card. Then you have the high priestess. This is just saying follow your heart and your spirit. Again, follow your heart and your spirit. Step out of your masculine energy. Step into your feminine energy. 
and follow it. So whatever your higher self tells you, follow it. This next pair is really um, interesting because we have the abundance card, we have the fool, and we have the emperor. The abundance card alludes to a choice. It says gold represents the power of the mind to choose. One choice may be wise, like the emperor. Look at the wisdom. Look at that gray beard. The emperor is wise. And the other is fluid, foolish. Now you know the fool card represents new beginnings and taking a leap of faith. Yeah, it seems to take a leap of faith. But this is representing being foolish in, in this um, couple right here. So it says choosing well, choosing the wise choice may involve a temporary sacrifice in order to gain desires. But remember that you can always make a new choice. So in my situation, I, I, I looked at this um, advice and I was like, okay, one choice, if I make this one choice, which may, which does involve taking a leap of faith, which does involve a temporary sacrifice. If I make this choice, it could be, it could turn out to be the best decision that I make in my life. It could also turn out to be a bad decision if, if I'm reading the energy wrong. But I would never get to make this choice again. But if I make the other choice, which is safer, um, it could be, it's just safe. You know, I won't have to worry as much. I won't have to worry. Um, I will have no worries. It will be the safe and comfortable and complacent thing to do. And if I did that, then I will be missing out on this opportunity to take advantage of whatever this energy is. It's telling me that's scaring the shit out of me. That scared this tower moment. It could, I would miss out on the opportunity. So I wouldn't have the ability to make a new choice. But if I do take the leap of faith and I do, you know, embrace this tower moment and flow with the universe and flow with the energies, then um, it could turn out to be good and the best thing. But if it's not, then I can always come back to the complacent part, and the comfortable part. It could be different. I'll have a, a minor challenges to go through, but I could always make a new choice. So, but anyway, this is just alluding to one wise decision and one foolish one. Um, and again, follow your intuition, follow your heart to which choice is wise and which choice is foolish. The last couple pair of cards we have is the balance card. Oh, be nice to each other. Look at their faces. The balance card with the six of wands, the hierophant, and the page of wands. So um, the balance card indicates a reluctance to change, which I understand because I, I feel you. It's a reluctance to change, but it says weigh all sides before moving forward. Again, we kind of just waited a little bit in the last pair, but it says way outside the form moving forward. This could lead to something new. The Six of Wands indicates successful outcomes. Um, yeah, so this is so honoring connections. Look at that wreath there. It's, it's wealth, it's abundance, it's fulfillment. It, look at the white horse. It's reaching your desired outcome is success. It's recognition. It's, gather, it's a following. It is um, reaching the finish line and other people cheering you on, but other people following you because you made it. You know, it's, it's public recognition. It's public um, being put on your high horse by others, though, because they're following you and they see you because you did it. And then you have the hierophant. And the hierophant, in this case, represents... Um, it just reiterates balance and unity with your divine masculine and divine feminine energy, but it represents more so the divine masculine and putting in the work. So whatever work that you need to put in, if you are in balance or if you're trying to get balanced, but you need to balance your feminine energy with your masculine energy. So if you're taking a leap of faith, it may require you to put in some work, create a project, create something new, do something new or uh, whatever, it may, maintain balance between the masculine and the feminine energies to get the successful outcome that you desire. The Page of Wands 
I was like, ooh, child, why we get this page of wands? You know that means inaction, but we're gonna put in the action with this Hierophant um, and Page of Wands combination. We're gonna put the work in, but the Page of Wands indicates that um, you're being led to the next advancement in life. So whatever wise choice you make will lead to personal advancement you know, in your life, and your business, and whatever it is that you're going through right now. But it's, it represents being taken to the next level of life. It reminds you to have courage, move forward boldly, conquer every obstacle. Um, yeah, let your ideas breathe and, and come alive and be known to the world, your ideas and yourself and your journey. And it indicates a level of success that can only be achieved when courage is deployed. So it really just really helped us to make a decision. It really made the decision for us, kind of, especially if you um, are willing to take that leap of faith. But it's telling you to have courage. So one of your decisions requires courage. Take that one. If one of your decisions is complacent and cowardly, maybe that's the foolish decision. Courage, foolish, wise, foolish. But sometimes it, you, go, you have to go within and to figure out what's best for you. Because sometimes taking a leap of faith is foolish. But if the energy in the universe is pulling you towards courage, maybe it's not foolish. So you would know in your individual situation. Um, after I read, after I went over this reading, I just, you know, in several readings that I've done in my situation, I do believe that I'm being called to have faith and take advantage of this energy and this tower moment that I'm going to to manifest the desires of my heart to be taken to new levels and to new lights in life. I hope this helps you. I hope that Light has been shed on your situation. Light has certainly been shed on my situation. Um, celebrate with your family and friends or, you know, stop worrying perhaps and just spend some time with family and friends and, and get everything off your mind until everything is more clear for you. But go within. Um, take an impartial look at your situation from a higher standpoint and figure out what's going to bring you fulfillment. What's going to bring you completeness and completeness and closer to your goals. But you can do it. You can do it. You have everything in you to see your players through. You're the king of wands. I hope this helps. Um, if you like a private reading, the link is in my description box, and I'll be very glad to help you. Um, here's a quick video on the service that I provide for business owners and those manifesting something. Um, Sign up for my subscription program, and I can lead you through whatever it is you're trying to manifest. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I, miss you, I wish you more life. Peace. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help. And if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you. Good luck and peace. This would got through love.